now we'll be talking about VXLAN. These are the Proxmox nodes. PSB3 is, for example, on a different uh, physical location. It might be, for example, in one city, this might be in another city, or this might be physically in the same city in one location, this might be in a different location. In that case, of course, VLAN zone or QNIQ zone will not work. You have to have the VXLAN. So, what VXLAN will do, it will create a layer 2 network on layer 4 packets. So to simplify it, when you create, for example, a subnet, so the communication between these machines will be seamless as they were on the same network. So these all are in different cities and you have created a cluster in a way that the machines can be migrated easily from one physical location to another location and so on. So there could be multiple scenarios. Our scenario right now is that these Proxmox nodes are on different physical locations. We are going to create now a VXLAN zone. The connectivity between them will be, of course, on UDP port 4789. It will create a layer 2 tunneling between them. It is a kind of VPN on the layer 2. This connectivity you have to establish by yourself. Whatever technology you are using to connect these two physical locations, it could be standard VPN, any VPN protocol that you are using, or it might be the MPLS connection or a lease line from your service provider. Once these are connected, we will be having a layer 2 VPN created, which is VXLAN. Let me show you that. I'll just go back here to the Proxmox a virtual environment. I'll go to data center again. I will be clicking here STN and in STN, I will click on zone now. And as we have already created these three zones, I will be creating now VXLAN. So which addresses will be used for the communication between them. Of course, as we have seen already, one IP address could be from different network, whatever addresses you have got. So you will be typing those addresses here. So one server is 10.11.12.101. So one could be on one subnet, another could be on another subnet where, of course, it is already able to communicate. Third could be on another subnet. But suppose in your case, it is on different networks. So you will be typing uh, IP address accordingly. So first one is here and comma 10.11.12.102 and third one is 10.11.12.103 and then MTU I will make it 1450 nodes which nodes will be using this VXLAN of course communication is taking place through all these IP addresses so where this VXLAN zone will be available so I will just simply add it here now so the moment you add of course I can go back to VNet I will create a new VNet here it will be VXLAN and I will just choose VXLAN zone from here, VXLAN tag. So for example, VXLAN tag is 50 and VLAN aware, I'll make it and create. I'll go back again to STN, apply the changes. Yes, you can see here that VXLAN zone is updated. I will use again the same test machine. So on that machine in network, I will go and change that network. Instead of QNIQ, I will be choosing VXLAN and here, IP address will remain same and I will go back here to another now here and I will choose VXLAN. Now the communication between these both is possible as they are on the same network. We have securely connected these two machines which are the part of those Proxmox nodes which are physically not on the same location. So they are connected using VPN but now their communication is possible with the help of VXLAN so the traffic is passing on layer 2. If I show you here, let me go back to this machine here. So they are able to talk to each other as they were on the same network. Now if I create any router here, any firewall here uh, or any DHCP server here on this particular zone in any of the Proxmox nodes. So that will be able to give the IP addresses to all these machines. I'll show you that. For example, if I go back here, the test machine which is on now VXLAN. Uh, this one, I will change its network to DHCP, OK, and I will also go to the first one, this particular test machine, and I will also change its IPv to DHCP. Now, of course, I need to have a DHCP server on this network, on VXLAN zone. So I will be just going to YOS. In YOS, we have the hardware here. So this is net zero, which is external. So net, I will be connecting this to, instead of VMBR2, I will be connecting this to VXLAN. Now this DHCP server, a router is on the VXLAN now, and I will not assign any you know, VLAN tag here uh, to these machines because the 
why os is also not having any vlan tag dhcp server a router is on the vxlan now so this is a dhcp server also a router also and if i show you here in yos if i see ipa you can see here that external network is 10.11.12.189 and internal is 10.1.1 of course my machines should get the ip address 10.1.1.2 or whatever range i have assigned it here i will be checking in the yos show dhcp server leases these two ip addresses are assigned which is 1.101 and 10.1.100 so these two ip addresses are assigned to the machines which are on two proxmox nodes and these proxmox nodes are on different physical locations so i will just see the communication now the ip address is of course changed so we will be looking at the new ip address which is assigned by the dhcp server dhcp server has assigned the ip address dot 100 i will ping 10.1.1.101 i'm able to talk to other machine and even now i'm also able to talk to internet for example ping google.com I'm able to get the response because for this machine now yos is the router and yos is router for this machine also which is on a different proxmox node you can see here that yos has provided the ip address to this machine also you can see the router is here in this proxmox node this is yos and if i go to another proxmox node and if i click here on the this particular machine i will simply log in first and now if i ping 10.1.1.1 which is the router ip address i'm getting the response if i ping of course external network where i have already configured in yos that it should be able to communicate with external network and here it gives me response i can even ping 10.11.12.101 which is my proxmox virtual environment so this is how we create the vxlan so vxlan is in fact a private tunnel now between these three proxmox nodes on layer 2 so the communication between them is on layer 2 udp protocol and the port is 4789 i will go back here to the proxmox virtual environment so i want to check the udp traffic so i will do sudo tcp dump dash i and here i will be checking the vmbr which is of course the virtual uh, bridge 0 uh, which is connected to the ip address which i have uh, configured and space udp and the port which i want to monitor the traffic is 4789 press enter you will see here that the traffic is passing from 10.1.100 ping request is going from this machine to this machine and similarly if i go to another machine psb2 so i will try to sudo tcp dump dash i and again it will be from the vmbr zero bridge mbr zero and port udp port is four seven eight nine so you will see here traffic is coming from here to here and so on but if i go to psb3 now same command here sudo tcp dump dash i and it will be vmbr zero port sorry udp port four seven eight nine enter this doesn't have any machine configured right now so it is not communicating with any other machine so it means that vmbr0 or the network interface of this machine is not being used so this is how you will create the vxlan